Hey, what's up y'all? Hey, my name is Jason Dames. I'm the founder of Final Start Fitness. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to properly execute a one-arm dumbbell lat row. Now, this is a great exercise to isolate the lats for you ladies that are wanting to tighten up that mid-range of the back or the guys that just want overall definition of the lats. This is gonna be a great exercise, but unfortunately, this one gets bossed up quite a bit. So we're gonna go over all the mechanics and make sure that you potentiate the amount of muscle that you can recruit. So this is gonna be a great video. Hit that intro. Oh. All right, so I said we we're gonna be going over the dumbbell lat row exercise. Now, if this is your first experience with Final Start Fitness, we wanna help give you the right information, the accountability and motivation that'll help give you the right habits and translate into long lasting results in your health and fitness. So before we dive into this exercise, you need to keep in mind and think about the principles of execution. These are the things that we talk about all the time, but we wanna make sure that we know what muscle that we're trying to train in the first place. In this case, it's our lat muscle. We wanna make sure that we eliminate any extraneous movement, any inertia, any momentum. We wanna have control. We wanna make sure that we're working the muscle through its entire range of motion. Guys, this could be the difference between you recruiting 70% versus 30% of muscle activation. So make sure you got those things down. So let's just show you how most people do this wrong first and I'll just kinda of show you the right way to do it. But a lot of times you see when people set this up, they, they start with the wrong setup in the first place. They grab the weight right here and they have an open stance, okay? So a lot of times they have more of a 45 degree angle where they're sitting up a little bit too much in the first place. And then they start here and they're gonna, they just do a lot of torso movement and they're pulling their shoulders back. And what that's doing is it's really stealing a lot of the tension away from the working muscle. So to help you understand why this is wrong, you need to know what plane of motion the muscle works in the first place. So the lat works in this plane of motion. It's fully lengthened in this direction. And then as you bring it through and your, your humerus extends out past your body, you actually contract the lat muscle, right? So if I'm using my torso, my shoulders, I'm stealing tension and a lot of those muscles are taking over the movement. That's what we don't want. If we're trying to work the lat, right? If we're trying to work our torso and our shoulders, that'd be a good thing. <laughs> this case, so here's a few things that you can do to eliminate some of that stuff. Your setup might be a little bit different and this is just gonna help eliminate some of that extraneous movement, but I put my leg here first. I learned this from Ben Pakolsky. It's a great little tip, but it helps to stabilize your whole body if you put this put foot forward. So if you're working this arm, your left arm, you're gonna put your left foot forward. You're gonna bring the chest down almost to where it's flat. If I'm up too much of an angle, I'm gonna start working more of the upper traps the rhomboids and so forth. So we don't want that, we wanna work the lat. So we wanna make sure that we have almost, a, your back's almost completely flat, like you were gonna eat on a table, right? You wanna make sure that you do a couple things right with your elbow joint. When you bring that dumbbell up, you wanna make sure that the elbow stays a little bit past 90 degree angle. So that way the humerus is going through full extension, okay? The other thing is we wanna make sure that we tuck our elbow in as close to our sides as possible. A lot of times what happens is people pull that dumbbell up and their elbow starts to pop up and now we're gonna activate a little bit more of the rear delts, and those are gonna take over rather than the lats again. So it's again, it's stealing tension away. Okay, so we're gonna grab that guy, we're gonna make sure that our hands over to the side. If, we, if it's across from us, the hips are gonna pop out like that. We don't want that. So we wanna make sure the hips are nice and straight in line, so the arm stays here. We start the movement, we wanna retract the shoulders and depress them. So it's like tucking your shoulder in the back pocket. Think of it that way. You're gonna tuck them elbows in, and keep them, the elbow a little bit past 90 degree angle. And there you have, you see I've eliminated all extraneous movement. As you can see, the only thing that's happened is I'm extending the humerus through the midsection, through that plane of motion. The only thing that's happened is I'm contracting the lat, nothing else. So guys, these are the little things that really matter 
to maximize or potentiate the amount of muscle recruitment that you can have. If you train the muscles the proper way, guys, you can get a lot more muscle activation with a lot less time in the gym. Sometimes it's so much more about being smarter, not just working harder. Everybody pulls the working harder button. So try taking these cues to the gym. I know it's gonna help you. Like I said, if you like these videos, stay tuned for more. Subscribe, hit that like button. Put some comments in the comment section below too, guys. We'd love to have some questions. I'd love to get back to you as well. So hope you guys have a great day. God bless you. Peace.